Global warming is happening at an ever faster rate and with ever more alarming consequences. Protests are taking place across the world with demonstrators demanding that governments do more to tackle the issue. Today, we're looking at the causes and consequences of global warming. Global warming is the increase of the Earth's average temperature. It's caused by two gases, carbon dioxide and methane. In the previous video, we learned that the burning and decay of peat releases carbon dioxide. And we saw that deforestation also causes an increase in the levels of this gas. Burning fossil fuels is another huge contributor to these increasing levels. But methane is also on the rise. Cattle release methane as they digest grass, and rice fields release it as they grow. Both carbon dioxide and methane cause global warming by creating a greenhouse effect. This is when solar radiation from the sun is prevented from escaping our atmosphere by the blanket of greenhouse gases. Instead, it gets re-radiated back to the earth, increasing the surface temperature. It's important to know the difference between global warming and climate change. As I mentioned at the start, global warming is the Earth's average temperature, but climate change is more severe weather patterns. If you're given one particular phrase in an exam question, you should use that same phrase in your answer. Global warming and climate change will have biological consequences. There are four you need to know. First of all is a loss of habitat. When the sea levels rise, it will cause flooding and coastal habitats will disappear. This will cause a change in distribution of organisms as well. For example, grizzly bears will be able to spread further north as it gets warmer, but polar bears range will shrink as they lose the ice caps. Global warming will also cause changes in migration patterns. Many species of birds, insects, and some mammals move around the world with the seasons, but this may change as the climate changes. And finally, it will cause reduced biodiversity. Climate change will cause the extinction of many species as they are unable to survive in a changing environment. I have one final thing to mention that is slightly hidden in the specification. That is that there is scientific consensus, which means agreement, that global warming is happening and climate change will occur as a result. This is based on systematic reviews of thousands of peer-reviewed publications. To sum it up, there's a huge amount of evidence that global warming is happening. Let's check what you've understood. Pause the video, try the questions, and then press play when you're ready to go over them. Number one, name the two gases that are causing global warming. Carbon dioxide and methane. Two, clearing land of trees for cattle is contributing to global warming. Explain how. Well, less trees mean less carbon dioxide is absorbed from the atmosphere in the process of photosynthesis. So there's more carbon dioxide causing the global warming. Cattle also produce methane as they digest grass. And methane is another greenhouse gas which causes global warming. Check your answer to see if you got both of those gases in it. And three, how will rising sea levels impact species? Well, they may change their distribution patterns, lose their habitats entirely, or even become extinct, reducing the planet's biodiversity. How did you do? There is hope that we can change our ways to reduce global warming and maintain our planet's biodiversity. Watch my next video to find out what's being done. And please subscribe for more video help. Thanks and bye.